uh, question and um, of the practice paper one and there's a nice stem and leaf one, I like these questions because they're usually quite easy and the problem with this one is, is there's quite a lot of information so um, I might reorganise the information and in the question you actually have some lines between this, I couldn't fit it on, you have lots of lines that looks a bit like this between the question and, and the stem and leaf, so look on your exam paper now what I might use those for is actually to line up all the well the first one, we know this one is number 6, so that's easy, I can put a 0, 6 in and remember it has to be in order from smallest to biggest so because there's so much information, I might pick out uh, all the ones between 10 and 20 so that's 18 and then there's another 18 and I might just write them down here and that's them all so I know that's easily going to be an 8, line them up and another 8 Okay. then I might pick all the ones between 20 and 30 and I might just write them down in stages because the annoying thing is there's nothing more annoying than doing a stem and leaf question and then realising you actually got to squeeze another number in and it becomes a bit of a mess and it's really annoying and you can lose marks for that in the exam so if I just pull out all the 20s I can easily pick out in just three numbers rather than all of these numbers I can easily pick out the smallest which is going to be 2 and 6 to make 26 and then a 9 for 29 and then a 9 again Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to pull out all the 30s so 37 and 38 I'm just going to note them down on the side 37, 38, 37 again, 32, and now you're seeing it's become a bit useful because I'm actually only putting off individual numbers. I'm not having to find the smallest and go through them all and check them all. I'm going and breaking them down to a smaller problem. Now in this, just in these four, I can see the 32 is the smallest, and then 37 twice, and then 38. Let's look at all the 40 numbers now. So 44, 40 itself, 41 and 48, 41, 48. So I make my life a little bit easier doing it this way. So the smallest in that list is 40, then 41, then 44, and then 48. Let's do the 50. This is where it gets a bit confusing because sometimes it's difficult to see the ones you have and haven't crossed out 55 59 50 55 twice 55 twice and this is where I spot that I have actually made a mistake 48 <sighs> lucky for me I should have put 48 on that list that was my mistake so that 48 luckily it went there but, yeah, it would have been annoying, luckily, that was really lucky, but if I remember, that's exactly the mistake I'm trying to avoid. So, if that had been in the 20s, I'd have had to go back and change all my diagram, which is a bit annoying. So sometimes it's best to do it in pencil first, and then if there's any changes you need to make, you can make them. Okay, where was I? I was doing the 50s. 58 now. 55, that's 58. 58. Let's just close that. And then we've got 50 and 58 again. 50 and 58 and then 58 another time so we've got quite a few 58s here so in this list I've got 50 twice and then I've got 55 once twice 55 I think I've missed one. I think I've missed a 55. There should be a 55 there, a 55 here, and a 55 here. So, is that a 55 or 58? Yeah, it's a 55. So, again, this is what happens when you try and do these problems at 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, you make mistakes. This is where you need to get sleep in your exam before your exam so you don't make silly mistakes like that. Then there's one, two, three, fifty-eights. So they make a nice little extension. So that's a fifty-eight, and then there's just a fifty-nine on the end. And then just go back through our list. We should have a sixty-seven, a sixty-nine, 
and a 66, 67, a 69, and a 66. So put that in order. 66, 67, 69. You see how I've lined these numbers up in columns, so that it keeps our diagram nice and neat. Now, if I got all of those, I would get three marks. But just to check, I should have 27. So it's worth counting the leaves. Remember, these are the stem. And this is the leaves, or the leaves, the stem and leaf. Okay, so it's worth counting to check I've got 27 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Okay, that means I'm less likely to make a mistake. It doesn't guarantee it, but I'm less likely. That's three marks, but got to put the key in. You can just pick any number or make any number up. I'm going to choose 3 line 2 it means 32 minutes. Okay, and that will be my fourth mark. So a little bit long and fiddly, but not very difficult. Just need to make sure you get that right in the exam. Now, what fraction of the cars stayed in the car park for less than half an hour? Well, we look in my diagram, so less than half an hour means that it's got to be less than 30 minutes. So that's uh, 29 29, 26, 18, 18, and 16. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different numbers. And there was a total of 27 in my uh, whole diagram. So that's 6 out of 27. It doesn't say I have to simplify it, but I think you probably should with these questions. Not with probability, but it's not probability, just a straight fraction. You find that 3 goes into both of these, it goes in twice, and it goes 9 uh, nine times. So the answer is 2 ninths, that final mark. Not a very difficult question, but just a fiddly question, and you need to make sure it's neat and tidy so you can see what's going on. Repeat the video if you need to, or go back and look at any, any of the other videos. Okay.